What's going on YouTube? Just wanted to do a quick video on the Marin San Quentin 1. After six months, wanted to do a quick review on it and what I've done. I've changed out the crank set to Shimano Dior, upgraded the bottom bracket, don't exactly remember what brand. Um, I have BD Phaser pedals on it. Um, that's kind of it, I didn't do too much. I also just changed the grips to PNW components lock-on grips. Um, added the little mud guard in the front. And yeah, that's kind of it. Didn't do too much, anything else. Well, that's pretty much all I did to it. <laughs> so yeah, I really did want to upgrade the uh, fork. Um, just hasn't been in the budget, so just rocking it like that for now and I feel like it's been pretty good can handle pretty much anything I feel like this bike is pretty capable um, no matter where you take it performs pretty well but I mainly ride flow trails and like jump lines and that's the main reason why I bought the bike I feel like if you're gonna buy this bike you're on the fence of a hardtail versus like a full suspension if you're gonna be doing a lot of like technical downhill chunky stuff I would say get a full suspension um, just because it feels better honestly I had just ridden a pivot shadow cat down this trail and it was like a night and day difference I was like amazed that how buttery everything felt it just absorbed everything super nice compared to a hardtail but I don't really ride too many chunky downhill trails like that so I opted out for this hardtail which I think is perfect for all these types of trails that I ride honestly um, it just feels super smooth it's very playful and poppy you can boost the heck out of jumps um, the, the geometry is set up you know for these types of trails so yeah so why not I thought it was the perfect bike for me um, eventually I will get a full suspension bike but for now I feel like this is all I need and like I said I did want to upgrade the fork but it's not in the budget so I think it does pretty fine the coil I mean I don't think I've bottomed it out on anything and <laughs> I've sent some pretty big jumps to flat that was so um, but yeah I think it's just a, it's a cool bike all around so I had to upgrade the uh, crank set and bottom bracket a little sooner than I wanted to. I know it was something that I wanted to do, but I think uh, like a month after I had gotten the bike, I noticed that my cranks had gotten loose and I would tighten them and then within a couple pedals, it would get loose again. The bike did have a square taper setup, so I guess they had just stripped out and obviously no matter how much you tighten it, it's just not gonna stay tight from ordering it online i guess it came it wasn't properly torqued down i guess that was like the the reason so i had just take it to a local um, bike shop and just asked for the most budget friendly parts that they had in stock and i ended up with shimano dior um crank set and obviously it was i felt like a big difference with the cranks i think the stock ones were kind of they're just kind of stiff and with these ones I don't know it just it just felt better like doing drops and jumping to flat a little bit but anyways yeah I feel like for me this is a great bike you know this is just all these clips of these flow trails and jump lines um, that's mainly my favorite thing to do so yeah so I bought the bike for that if you guys have any other like questions about the bike just feel free to leave a comment um, and I'll get back to you I'm, I'm usually pretty good at responding to to people in the comments um, my channel is not super huge and I'm getting not getting like billions of freaking people commenting stuff so it's pretty easy to keep track <laughs> of the things that people comment down but yeah um, this is a cool ass bike and I think it's perfect um, if you want to do a bunch of flow jump lines and the occasional downhill chunky shit, so go buy it right now. Thanks. Bye.